Hello, welcome to the Tiny Trailer Workshop. Now, I got a piece of Arbutus here today, and I've been asked to make something called a muddler. Um, basically, that's basically one of these. Something like that. Uh, more of a around. It's for crushing herbs and stuff in drinks. Or something like if you have limes or lemons or that kind of thing. Um, it's supposed to be about seven and a half inches. That's too long. So let's make it seven and a half. I think maybe we'll give it a little bit of a flare, just because. Okay. And we'll just hope that that crack um, just is on the surface something good inside. This Arbutus you sometimes never know. It, uh, it can do some strange things. But anyhow, let's uh, see where we're at, see what's happening. And uh, time to hang on. I think what we'll do is we'll put a, a tannin on one end here so we can put it in a chuck. It'll be a, little, a lot safer, I think. Thank you. 
try and juice down this and see what it does. Kind of nice. Nothing too spectacular, but good nice. Arbutus has a nice green, but it's very subtle. Um, and for those of you stateside, this is uh, this is Madrone. Madrone now. I'm not sure which it is. One or the other. It's not Arbutus down there anyway. Okay, now let's see about getting this off of here. Muddler. Um, seems like a, a reasonable kind of thing. Yeah. Alrighty. I think I'll call this the after talk. First off, those of you sniggerers out there, for shame on you. But, a muddler. Who knew such a thing existed? And this was my first one, and to tell the truth, it turned out quite well, fundamentally. I did make another one uh, that was more rounded on both ends, which has a, a much more appealing look to it. Um, I may have to do a, another video uh, doing that style of muddler next time, well, at some time. If you Google it, you'll find that there's all kinds of different kinds of, of styles of muddler. Oh, and, and I went and looked that up, and it is in fact Madrona. Can you imagine living on the border, and you have an Arbutus tree in your front yard? and the branches of the tree extend over into the neighbor's the American neighbor's yard. Now here's the question. Are the branches that come across, are they Madrona? Or do you have to have a Madrona trunk to get Madrona branches? Either way, it's not going to make much difference for me. The, uh, the border is just over there, and, uh, well, the closest neighbor in that direction is 20 miles away. So. Those trees, by either name, don't get that big. That one camera did give me a lot of trouble. It was uh, sitting there fine one minute, and of course, if it's working well, why bother looking at it? It sat like that for ten minutes. Yeah, well, I am hoping that Cedric will be sending me a link to his new video soon. Um, he's been very secretive about this one, and uh, he's been working awfully hard for, for a long time now. I hope it's been worth it. He gets so disappointed so easily. We'll see. So we have Sterling Davis's palette upcycle to think about. I have a plan, but I guess I'm going to have to hurry. I better pick up a, a palette the next time I'm in town. Like tomorrow. Thanks for the inspiration, Sterling. You're doing a great job. Sorry for some of the wonky camera work in this. I did find it a little more awkward to try and get far enough away to take pictures, it that makes sense. Uh, the shop isn't that big, so 
Yeah, I, I just have to do some more thinking on different camera angles for next time. But I hope that you found this was enjoyable. And I want to thank you for, for watching. And we'll hope to see you all again next time. Bye for now.